and welcome. We're picking up where we left off. This is part of a series. Check out the playlist. There should be a link in the description of this video. And we're creating a Doom level in Eureka Doom Editor. And um, today we're going to be creating stairs. Now, before there was Doom, there were a few first-person shooters, mostly made by the people who made Doom, or at least a few of them were. Uh, but most of them were flat. You didn't, you couldn't go up and down. As I talked about in the first video, in Doom, it's not really a 3D world. You can't have layers, uh, levels above levels, um, but you do have different floor and ceiling levels. And um, that was a big thing. Duke Nukem, or not Duke Nukem. Did I say Duke Nukem? Wolfenstein and other first-person shooters were all uh, very flat. They didn't have different floor levels. Doom was one of the first ones where you can go up and down. So let's go ahead and create ourselves some stairs. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to make my grid a little bit smaller. We'll say five vertices mode. And I'm just going to start creating a hallway here like so. And each one of these sectors is going to be a new step. Now, let's move our 3D preview spot over here. I'm going to put my mouse cursor here and hit apostrophe, tab to go into that. And you can see this long hallway we just created. Not quite stairs yet. Now, let's go ahead and hit S for sector. Back tick to unselect, and we'll just select all of those. Now, we can go into 3D mode, and we can go this to move the floor level up. Now. Every time you click this, it's going to move it eight more numbers. Uh, we would call them pixels. I don't know what you'd call them in, in, in this one. But it's going to move it uh, a value of eight. One, two, three is the most you want to go on a step. And three is kind of a big step. But if you go four, I'm pretty sure once you get to 32, that's when it becomes too large for you to step up onto. So you're going to want to do probably two, I think, is a good number, unless you want very steep stairs. Um, so what we're going to do, instead of clicking over here, again, keyboard shortcuts, period moves you up, comma moves your floor down. Let's tab out of the 3D view into our 2D map view, and we have all these selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit space, or I'm sorry, period, period, and then I'm going to unselect that, period, period, 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 unselect that period, period. And now we're at an issue where our stairs have now reached the ceiling height. <laughs> so let's go ahead and select all these again. And what I'm going to do is over here is your headroom height. So it's going to take whatever your floor is at and add this number to it. Let's just do 256. That's pretty high. So there we go. Now our ceiling is up higher. Now we're going to unselect the ones that we have already moved up. So it would have been a good idea for us to have moved our ceiling heights up um, before this point. So let's see, that's the last one we did. And I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm running my mouse over the steps and I'm watching the values over here on the floor to see the last one we moved. And now I'm just going to go period, period, unselect, period, period, unselect, period, period, unselect, period, period unselect, period, period, unselect, um, period, period. Now, you can't really see it here, but uh, our first ones, the ceilings go up and then it kind of levels out there. We can leave it like that, but what we're going to do is we're going to select all these again, and I'm just going to at this point say um, 128, I think it's good ceiling height. So now the ceiling in this particular case, as you can see, if you look up at the ceiling, is staggered up just like the steps. Or I can set them all to one value. Uh, I can say uh, here for ceiling 256. Since I have all selected, I'll hit enter. And now they're all at one level. Um, and that kind of aligned our wall textures, kind of. You notice that our blocks are now square instead of rectangle. So what we're going to do is, with all those selected, we'll hit L, tab into 3D mode, and then shift A a couple times until those all align. And now we have a nice looking uh, wall textures. Control uh, S, Control T to save and to test. 
And here are our steps. And we can run up these steps until we get to the top, which we're by the ceiling here. So really, we would want to make our ceiling higher if these stairs actually led anywhere. And of course, they could. Um, Eureka is very smart. If I was connect to this sector, it's going to um, give it the same floor and ceiling height. So let's go ahead, sector mode here, and move the ceiling up. We'll just, uh, I don't know, three, 328 sounds good to me. Um, now I'm going to go V, tab to unselect, and now I can go like this and create a whole nother sector up here. And I am going to save and test, and now we should be able to go up these steps into that sector. Perfect. And we can go back down our steps. Now that's that steps within a with their own little sector. Let's go ahead, move our 3D view up here by putting our cursor here and back tick. And let's go ahead, select this sector, and we'll move the ceiling up some. That looks good. Let's say we want steps within this room. What I could do is I can come in here and I can, in vertices mode, whoops, I can create oops, a couple of steps like so, just like we did in the other example. So I drew them. So there's sectors within the sector here. Um, period, period, unselect, 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 period, period. So we have steps right there. Real quick, I will select all of them and give them a different wall texture. I'll hit, uh, I actually kind of like the way the, the texture is kind of staggered there. And now that we have those, going to S for Sector mode, I have them all selected. Control C, Control V, and now I have stairs on my other side. Again, no need to recreate them. And then we can create something like this. I can go boom, 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 like so, and then choose that sector, like so. Now, if we were to test this out, I can go in here and go on up and walk up my steps to my little platform and down. I'm not going into detail, obviously, uh, you'll have to have an artistic eye. Uh, brick floor textures for the steps like this seem a little odd. Uh, you might want to change that. So for example, I can select, let me unselect all, whoops. If you're inside a sector and you try to box select, you're going to end up dragging that sector. So then at that point, you're going to want to hit shift and box select. And let's go ahead and choose a different texture. I mean, that might be good. Uh, you can center click your, your mouse wheel and drag to move up and down in your 3D view here. I think that looks a little better. Uh, but you can look through all the different textures. That might look good. Actually, it does. They line up very well for our steps. And that's creating steps in, uh, for Doom in Eureka Doom Editor. Let's go ahead and uh, end this tutorial here, and in the next video, we'll learn some more stuff. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of the video, and uh, check out the link to the full playlist as well. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.